This podcast is produced by the Harwood Productions Podcast Network. To learn more about the network and to find more of our shows, visit us online at www.harwoodpodcast.com. I'm Cindy Harris. Welcome to Come for Tea. Today I'm going to show you a couple of quick savories that I use on my tea trays. They're delicious and they're real easy to put together. Let's first start with my cheese pinwheels. I just start with a carton of the low fat cream cheese that's the spreadable kind so it's nice and soft and I put that in a mixing bowl. Then I add a cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and you can shred it yourself or you can use the package kind, whatever easiest that day, and start mixing the two cheeses together. Now once you get your cheeses mixed up, we're gonna add a tablespoon of a really finely chopped onion. The finely chopped part is important because you don't want anybody biting into a big piece of onion during tea. So add your onion to the cheese mixture, and then we're gonna add two tablespoons of a fairly chopped green bell pepper. This gives a nice crunch in this pinwheel. add two tablespoons of a diced pimento. Now it comes diced in the jar, but again the pieces are a little bit big so I take my knife and just run it through to make them just a little bit smaller. Then we're going to add two tablespoons of chopped black olives, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce, and a teaspoon of fresh lemon juice. Then take your rubber spatula and start mixing all of that together. When it's all mixed up, it should start to come together and look like this. Then we're gonna take some large tortillas, the flour kind, and take one out and take half of your cheese mixture and put it out on the tortilla and just start spreading it out to the edges. Go with one of the edges and start slowly and carefully rolling it up all the way across the tortilla. Now once it gets rolled up, we're going to get a sharp knife, not a serrated knife, but a flat blade knife, and we're just going to take the ends off because that doesn't have much filling in it. And then we're going to take and cut, oh, about one, one and a half inch slices. And you'll see we get this great little swirl of that cheese and vegetable mixture all throughout. Now there's enough of the cream cheese mixture to make two of these out of the large tortillas. So just go through, spread it out, roll it up, and again, cut off the ends. There's not much filling there, and then slice them up. And these can go straight into the refrigerator. This next savory is so good. They're a ham and cheese croissant. And I start by getting a package of the reduced fat crescent rolls from the refrigerator section at the grocery store. Open these rolls and just give them a whack on the counter and they'll pop out. And then onto your parchment sheet, you're gonna open the little tubes of dough and they get separated out into these little triangles. They're pre-cut, so you just kind of follow along where the perforations are. Now, once you get them all spread out on your cookie sheet, you're gonna spread each of the triangles with some Dijon mustard. And you can be pretty generous with this mustard. I just use a spoon and then dab it 
and then spread it all down the triangle. The next step is to take some cheddar cheese and with a fine um, grater, just grate some right onto each of the triangles. Again, trying to cover as much of the triangle as you can. Then you're gonna wanna get some sliced ham. And I like to get the kind that's really thinly sliced. And I'm gonna take and I'm gonna just place two pieces of ham on each triangle. And it's okay if they overhang a little bit. Now, once you get all the ham placed, it's time to start rolling these up. So what I do is I start at the base, the wide end, and I just start rolling them up, tucking in the ham as I go, and just keep rolling. They don't have to look perfect. You can tuck some cheese in as you go. But the idea is, as you roll them and place them on the baking sheet, keep that little uh, pointy side down on the baking sheet. That way, when they puff up, they don't unroll. Then just kind of rearrange these on the sheet so each one has plenty of room to cook and puff up. And then these will go into the oven about 375 degrees for about 12 to 14 minutes. Get them nice and brown. They're wonderful that way. And slide them off your cookie sheet to let them cool for just a little bit. Now these ham and cheese crescents are just a little big for tea, so all I do is just take a knife and cut each of them in half, and then that way they make a nice size uh, savory to put on your tea tray. Well, the next time you have an afternoon tea, I hope you'll think about having one of these quick savories on your tea tray. They're really easy to put together and your guests will really enjoy them. For more information on this episode, go to our website and visit the Come For Tea show notes. Also, if you have any questions or ideas, send us an email. Thanks for watching. It's time for tea.